Hello, welcome to another edition of Capper Comparison Picks. Uh, I'm Ranch, and if you're new to this show, this is where I take picks from my favorite sports handicappers and compare them side by side against other handicappers. I take a total of five, sometimes a little more, but never less than five. And uh, I display their picks so you can determine which way you want to lean and which handicappers you'd like to follow and which ones you're going to lean with. Okay, so without further ado, let's um, get right underway with this. I did a show for the earlier games. I did for the Thursday game and for the um, one o'clock, like three of the one o'clock games. Like I only got four boards. But, um, as for the Thursday night game, there was a full capper consensus on the Chiefs, you know, minus 10. <laughs> I took the tight Texans though, plus 10. So the cappers, that's why I might as well use the same. I was going to pick new cappers, but I'm, I didn't have time to look at a whole new set of cappers in their videos. So I'm going to use the same cappers that I did use in the early matches so I, I will again put their links in the description of this show but it's just, it's gonna be the same guys so definitely check out the early games because you know I still have we have the Jets Bills Packers Vikings Eagles Washington which I already did a capper comparison show for them okay so anyway let's get on with this at 4.05 tomorrow, Sunday, September 13th, we've got the San Diego Chargers take, taking at the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay, the Chargers last season finished with a record of five, only five wins and 11 losses. Bum, bum, bum. But they're going against... Uh, Cincinnati Bengals team who finished last year with only two wins and 14 losses. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, 14 is a lot of losses. They're they're horrible. But uh, they got a new quarterback this year, Joe Burrow. So things may might turn around. I don't know. Um, let's see what the uh, cappers have to say. First of all, let's discuss the odds. The total set at 44 points, okay? The Chargers are the favorite, uh, three-point favorite at minus 175 on the money line. If you got them covering that three points, it'll drop to a reasonable minus 125. The Bengals, on the other hand, underdog, money line at plus 155 if they win outright. If uh, you want to buy that field goal, that three points, is still a plus number at plus 105. So let's see how these cappers go. Um, we've got from, hold on a second. I just wanna make sure I got this all right. All right, let's go. Brock Page, Brock Page Productions. Like I said, all these cappers, they're Links will be in the description, and I did use them for the early games, so you can always refer back to that. I promise next week I will introduce some different one. I was planning on doing that this week, but you know, I was I didn't have a lot of time. I got a lot of other things going on week one. But anyway, and these guys obviously they're good. They picked Thursday night correctly anyway, so might as well run with them. Okay, we have Brock Page taking the Chargers. Minus three. These, by the way, these are not money line bets. I'm assuming all these picks are with the points, with the spreads. So keep that in mind. As just like the, it's too easy just to pick money line. You gotta, you, you know, as a handicapper, you have to consider the points, especially you know you're gambling. So Brock Page, take that. Also taken in San Diego is JT Dangerously. You know, I love about JT Dangerously. In the beginning of his show, he plays this, like, a, it's like a, a tape recorder or something. He plays this, and he's like, dun, 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 and it's like a, the theme song. It's 
you know, I'm sure he doesn't have copyright crap or anything, but it's, it's awesome. I, I love it, JT, dangerously. Good job. Okay, those are the only two cappers taking the Chargers. Everybody else is taking the Cincinnati Bengals. We have uh, from, was it Odd Shark? Is that what it's? Yeah, from oddshark.com, Joe Osborne is taking the Bengals. Um, Frankie G is taking the Bengals. And Preston Adams is taking the Bengals. All these guys for the fourth time, they were, their links will be in my description. So we have three cat handicappers taking Cincinnati plus three points. We have two taking the Chargers to cover the three points. Now what's Range gonna do? Range, um, man, I do like Joe Burrow from, I, I liked him in college last year and LSU and, but I don't, I gotta go with, uh, that's, a, that's a tough pick. They're both not that good team. Good team. You know, first game out of the season, I'm not taking the Bengals. I gotta take the Chargers. I'm gonna go with Brock Page and JT Dangerously. I'm taking I'm gonna take the Chargers. Um, man, you know, I'm gonna, gosh. what did Brock Page? Brock, oh, the, yeah, only one of these cappers gave any uh, over-under predictions. Brock Page, which is awesome. My man, Brock Page. He does it every time. So uh, he, Brock Page said it was going to go under the 44 points in this contest. So we'll put the under, and just so you know, that's Brock. But he's the only one. So from, yeah, the only capper that, uh, look at that smear. Anyway, he's the, Brock Page is the only capper. So if you see a, a over under, it's from Brock Page. Okay. Um, I agree with him on the under. Yeah, and I agree with him that San Diego is going to win that contest at 4.05 tomorrow. Okay, next. At 4.25, this is another... Man, opening weekend has so many good, so many good matchups. We have... The conference matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the San Francisco 49ers. Whoa. Okay. I, I know a lot of 49er fans. I don't know many Cardinal fans, but yeah, I know like three personally in my life. I, I know three people that are right off the top of my head 49ers fans. I can't say the same for the Cardinals. Anyway, the Cardinals last season, they finished with a record of five wins, 10 losses. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> and they're taking on the 49ers who finished 13 wins and only three losses. No wonder I know 49er fans. But uh, yeah, um, the Cardinals, that's why they're the app. Um, no, they're the visiting team. They're the underdogs at plus 255. Or you can get by seven and a half points and that'll drop down to a minus 130. The Niners, on the other hand, come in as a disgusting favorite at minus 310. Maybe in a parlay, but never individual bet that disgusting number. It's too much juice. So you better have them covering the seven and a half and that bounces that seven and a half has bounced from seven to seven and a half back and forth these odds came from uh bovada or no i'm sorry they came from bet online i believe last week or no what was it last well today's saturday i think yeah it's like maybe tuesday i printed them out so these these lines have probably changed, but for the most part, they're, you know, when I made the sheet, that's what these odds were, okay? Seven and a half. Um, yeah, that seven and a half, it'll be, then it'll be a positive number at plus 110. The total set at 47. Okay, 
Here we go. Taken Arizona Cardinals from oddshark.com. Joe Osborne. Joe Osborne is taking the Cardinals. Then we have uh, Frankie G. Man, I like Frankie G too. He seems to know his stuff when he's, you know, all these guys. Like, I didn't. I kind of had a mini screening process to determine which handy because there, you know, there's a million of them. But I wa I, I went through probably a dozen different handicappers until I chose the ones that I like. So it's not like these guys were the, you know, only people that had go search uh, NFL Week One picks. You'll have pages and pages of YouTube handicappers. What I did was I kind of filtered through the first dozen <laughs> and came out with uh, these guys that I seem to like. Okay, that's just a little little extra info for you on these guys. Um, taking the 49ers, we have Preston Adams. And then, what are you doing? <laughs> Spying. Yeah, you're being weird and creepy. <laughs> JT Dangerously. I'm just gonna write danger, you know who it is. JT Dangerously and Brock Page. I like Brock Page, but the thing is, he only he always picks the favorites. You know? Always. Always picks the favorites. But actually if you consider the spread, and these are all picks with the spread included, they'd be the underdog if you want to include the spread. So that's, I guess that's not true. Um, but he brags about, if you want true underdog, he says these, a lot of these, uh, these picks are off the top of his head dart throws to get his real picks and the underdog picks of the day or whatnot, you have to subscribe to his Patreon and pay a little bit of cash. I think it's two ninety nine or something a week or I don't know, but he is good. He's, you know, he knows his stuff. He has, he has made money, like through gambling. If he, unless he's lying to me, but I don't think he is. Cause you can, with these, uh, thing is with these handicappers that make statements, you can always check if they're lying. Just look at their old videos that, that are in the, you know, and you can just, <laughs> are you, I can see the shadows you're making on this, on the boards, silly goof. All right, um, in this pick, I'm going against Brock Page. I'm taking the underdogs in this, not to win, but I'm taking them. I'm taking the Cardinals plus seven and a half. I'll pay that little juice just to get the the nice uh, touchdown or seven and a half points. You got to me. And. Um, oh, here I'm taking the under too. He does the me. I'm not. I'm not ready to make score predictions. I used. I. I'm gonna do that probably later through the season. But I'm not ready at this point. It's week one. I don't. Daddy, I don't have enough info. You got um, tired of me. I am on my knees. Okay. Um. <laughs> what did Brock say for this? Brock. Brock's going over forty-seven. Oh, for the hill. Uh, That's man, a 47. Name. <laughs> I too am gonna go. I don't know, 49 defense is tough. Uh -huh. But Cardinals got DeAndre Hopkins now. Um, uh -huh. and they still have Christian Kirk. Uh -huh. Um, and they, Larry Fitz, they have a lot, there's a lot of firepower on both sides. The defense is good on both sides, but Daddy, I'm in agreement with uh, Brock Page. Daddy, I think this will show up too. I think this is going to go over also. I'm not in agreement with the side. I think it's going to go over, but I think Cardinals are going to keep it within seven if they do lose. This will show up too. I will show up, but I've already used blue a lot. I use pink. No, no teams are pink. No teams are... Well, the girl teams you do no. are pink. No, that's girls. Girl fighters. There's no teams that wear pink. Is it? No, there isn't. Hmm. And that's why I use what it. What about... Okay. Purple. 
Yeah, there's purple teams. The Vikings. Minnesota Vikings are purple. Okay, moving on. Next at 425, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers led by Tom Brady. Um, they are going into New Orleans to play the Saints. Uh, the Buccaneers last year, before when Tom Brady was on the Patriots, they finished the season seven wins, nine losses. But once again, that was that was with Jamie Swinston and not Tom Brady or Robin Cross. This isn't playing it's skin color. Also, now the Bucks, as you as if you're a football fan, you know they got Leonard Fournette. They already they still have the Godwin and uh, Mike or what's his name? They got a fleet of awesome receivers. Oh, uh, Tampa Bay is don't sleep on them this year. And here they come in because of last year's record and their you know Tom Brady's it's it's his. His team, but it's still relatively new as a team together. Um, they're coming as the underdog at plus 160. They are going into New Orleans too. But New Orleans last season finished with a record of 13 wins and only three losses. Still strong as ever. Great, you know. Still got Camara and yeah, Saints are always going to be great. For that division um, but they are the favorite and they're the point spread is at three points if you got Tampa Bay you're gonna get three points and it's gonna be you'll still be a plus number at plus 110 if you got Saints covering three points it's gonna drop that stupid minus 185 to a reasonable minus 130 so if you're a Saints fan I would go with this covering the spread okay let's see what these uh, other guys are taking from Odd Shark, Joe Osborne, he's taking the Bucks. And then, also, JT Dangerously is taking Tampa Bay, also. The other guys are all taking New Orleans, the Saints. Frankie G. Preston Adams. What are you doing, Nora? I don't know. Yeah. And Brock Page. And Brock Page is saying, over in this contest. Um, over in this contest. Now, I will tell you, Besides the cappers and my personal leans and stuff, you know what influences me a lot is who I picked in the fantasy draft. Um, and in this, my starting tight end for this weekend is Rob Gronkowski. I think just to just to show that there's still a thing, Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski, that they haven't missed a beat. I think he's going to nail Tom Rob Gronkowski against the Saints. For a touch, at least a touchdown, maybe two. I, I think, I, yeah. I don't think, I, I'm not 100% on this, but I don't think that the, I think Saints are weak against covering the tight ends. I don't, like this year, it's week one. There's not really stats, but I think last year, if I remember correctly, teams that were going, like uh, when Hooper was playing for the Falcons, I think he was scoring against the Saints. I could, you know, I could be off, but I want to say they're weak at that cornerback or that, you know, that covering tight ends. I'm hoping they are. But anyway, I'm taking the Bucks. I'm going to take them on the money line, too, to win outright at plus 160. I like that plus number. And, um, and I'm also... I think this is going to be a high-scoring game because the Bucks, oh, the firepower they've got. they got so many good players. Godwin, Gronkowski, Leonard Fournette. Oh, who's the other one? 
other big receivers. It's right to tip my tongue too. Can you read it? I'm just kidding. Um, oh, what is his name? Anyway, you know who I'm talking about. They got they, they're stacked at receiver, and they have and they have Tom Brady who is on point. The thing was, when he was in uh, New England, he was on point, and he was great. He's a great quarterback. But think, he had Edelman, and who, aside from Edelman, who do you have? Nikhil, that Nikhil Harry or whatever, Chris Hogan. I, last season, he didn't, and he still managed to get crap done. He's great. This year, look out for the Tampa Bay Bucks. I got them winning outright in New Orleans week one, and it's going to go over. Because New Orleans is going to be scoring a lot too. Just both offensive powerhouses taking, yeah, taking the field tomorrow at 4:25. Great game. Finally, moving on to the night game, we have my buddy Tater's favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboy. Because I want to be a cowboy. You can be my cowgirl. They're going into Los Angeles, or is it Los Angeles? Yeah, to play, they're going to play the Rams. Okay, last year the Cowboys had a 500 season, at eight wins, eight losses. And yet they are the on the road favorite at minus 158. The Rams, ugh, what is that? This marker's crap. Garbage. Throw this in the garbage. Okay. Ready? Ready? Where well, you think I can make it from here? If I miss it, you gotta pick it up and throw it in there. Did I make it? Yeah. Touchdown! 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 I have a desk. Huh? I know you have a beautiful desk. Okay. I want you to show it to me. No, Nora, I'm in the middle of a video. Not right now. Okay, the Cowboys, taking the Cowboys, we've got, um, all right, this is, they're covering two and a half, too, remember that, the Rams are getting two and a half points, oh, the Rams, their odds, plus 138 to win overall, if within two and a half, it's still a plus number at plus 115, take it as you will, okay, Taking the Cowboys, minus two and a half. We've got Joe Osborne from oddshark.com. And then, and then, Frankie G. And then, uh -huh, Preston Adams. And then, JT Dangerously. And then... Eh, not a full capper consensus, because Brock Page is taking the Rams. Yup. You watch his... Go ahead, watch his video, and he'll explain why he's taking the Rams. I don't have time to go through all that, but he's taking the Rams, and he... He's got it going over the 52 on opening weekend. Uh, good call with that, I think. Um, I, too, am not taking the Rams, but I'm going with the Capra majority. I'm taking the Cowboys. Ranch. To win the opener on Sunday night in at playing at the Rams, and I also think it's gonna go over the 52 points because they wanna come out and shine week one. And they wanna show that they're still, look at, look at, we had one game play this, and it already went barely over. It was the Chiefs-Texans game, the over was set at 53 and a half, the total. Total score came out to be 54. I did pick the over, but I didn't win the, I, did, I took the, you know, I took plus, I took Texans plus 10. And they didn't stay within that. So I lost. Anyway. 
uh, to recap time check. We've got, I got San Diego Chargers. Chargers? Yeah, I got San Diego Chargers covering the... That's what we put our phones into. And yeah. our tablets. And I got them covering phones. three points against the Bengals. And I think that's going to stay under the 44. Just because their firepower, their talent is kind of lacking. You know, rookie quarterback. Um, just, yeah, we're going to stay under that. Um, Cardinals. Oh, then, then I have the Arizona Cardinals upsetting the 49ers. I'm taking them plus seven and a half, but I think they might win outright to be. You know what? I'm going to dust a little bit. A few dollars, you know, made five bucks. I'll throw five bucks on the money line just to, because I think the Cardinals may come in. And in the parlay, like I, I parlay, I make all sorts of parlays and stuff. In the parlay, oh, I'm going to take the points in the parlay. <laughs> so that's, but I am going to do a, a small individual bet on the Cardinals money line. Um, then I have Tampa Bay. Tom Brady, my nemesis. Well, you know, being a Jets fan, he's. I'm so happy that he's not in New England anymore. I'm glad that he's in Tampa Bay. That's what I got to say about that. Tom Brady, good for you. <laughs> now I'm a newfound fan of Tom Brady because he's not in my, you know, conference division. Um, I got Tampa Bay beating the Saints outright at plus. 160. That should be a good payout. I'm going to do that individual. And I'm going to parlay it. When I parlay it, I'm going to take the plus three. Parlays, yeah, it's harder to hit a parlay, so you want to get as much little advantage as you can. That's when you take do the spread. If you're get plus, especially if you're getting if you're getting points, take them. If you're giving up points, then go money line in a parlay. Okay? Like here. Finally, Cowboys. I'm going to take them to cover. Anyway, but if I was going to take them on the money line, which is one minus 158, eh. but uh, because I'm taking them to cover that, I'm going to parlay the money line. You know what I'm saying? So then they don't have to cover it. They just have to win. So see how, see how I did that? Because the parlay is hard to hit. So you want to, like I said, take every advantage you can. So I got the Cowboys beating... The Rams, it is going to be uh, a rather high-scoring game. I think they're going to, it's going to go over the 52. So there you have it. Gather the info, place the bets, and cash the tickets. Gather the info, place the bets, cash the tickets. I appreciate you watching. Um, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Go ahead, fill up those comments with all your picks. Yeah, feel free to. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, and comment down you below. Don't like them the bell. I don't care if they ring the bell or not, because I don't ring. I'm a hypocrite if I say go oh, and ring, because I never hit ring any bells. They're annoying to get all those notifications. If you just subscribe, you'll you'll know. It'll come up in your feed. Yeah, new video. But you can ring the bell too if you're a true fan. You want to know my. You want to as soon as they pop up, go yeah, go ahead, and ring that bell. Um, anyway, good luck on these bets. I'll see you next episode. Bye.